Bread is one of my favorite comfort foods, and in fact, I think it is the essence of comfort food. At Golden Hearth Baking Company in Kitchener, breads like this AP bread are just one of the great products they're making, as well as croissant. The Golden Hearth Baking Company has been here for several years, but you're relatively new owners. When did you purchase and when did you start baking? Uh, we purchased in May 10th of 2010, this year. Uh, and I started baking uh, a few years ago recreationally at home. And uh, so then when this opportunity presented itself, I started coming in and got trained by Tim uh, within this setup. And uh, yeah, it was... Phew, Dive, dove right in. It's pretty exciting. It's a sort of classic story that happens in the restaurant business where you don't formally get trained. You start sort of as an apprentice with the previous owners, learn the business inside out, learn the tricks of the trade, and you're off and running all by yourself. Yeah. It must give you an amazing sense of pride that you've probably been able to tackle something like that yeah, and are producing yeah. such great products. Yeah, for sure. It's, a, it's, it's almost unbelievable that we undertook this <laughs> huge thing, but yeah, it's been very rewarding and I love like doing stuff with my hands and like starting the day with nothing, just a few things, and that, you know, four hours later I've got this stuff that I've done, and so that's sort of pretty rewarding too. Now, do you do a lot of natural and organic uh, kind of cooking with your breads? About three quarters of our flour is organic, um, and then our white flour is not organic, but it's unbleached. Um, we get that from Hanover. Um, so they source it Ontario or Western Canada, depending where they can get it. So I would guess at the same token then there's relatively few preservatives and artificial kinds of things in your yeah. baking. And our bread like is water, flour, salt, yeast. And then, you know, if there's a multi-grain mix, then that goes in or nuts or that sort of thing. But yeah, there's no preservatives, no hydrogenated oils, no nothing. Well, tell us a little bit about the range of products that, that you work with here, the kinds of things that are available. Uh, most of our breads are sourdough. Uh, all of our breads are a two-day process at least to make. Uh, so they get lots of flavor. Uh, we've got cookies and squares, croissants. Um, on Saturdays we have six different kinds of croissants. Uh, we can buy lots of products here at your, at your store, but you're also selling to other businesses who sell your products. Name me some of those uh, locations. We wholesale to Bailey's Local Foods, uh, a whole lot of gelata, Vincenzo's, Eating Well Organically, Uptown 21, Nick and Nats, the Museum Cafe, the Commons Market, Say Cheese Please, uh, Row Farms Store in Guelph. I know I'm forgetting some, but that's most. Well, your reach is fairly wide throughout the region. That's great to see. Uh, I understand there's something called a 100-mile bread. Is that still? Yeah, our 100-mile spelt bread. Uh, the, it's a whole spelt. It's all spelt grown here in Ontario. The salt we get it from uh, up in Godrich. And then it's just water and yeast. So that's yeah, all local, all organic. Uh, one of my favorite breads is the epi bread. Yeah. Uh, you make that here, and just tell us a little bit about that. An epi is a baguette, so we roll it out the same as a baguette, except instead of slashing it like a traditional baguette does, we, I take scissors and uh, cut little buns, sort of, and then twist it so it looks like a sheaf of wheat, which is why it's called an epi. Ap. It's a small organization, uh, but you have another significant other that helps you. Uh, who, who is that? Uh, my wife, Heidi Brubaker. She is a 50% partner, and uh, she is, keeps me sane during the day. And uh, yeah, and then we also have our employee, Nate Salter, who is a big part of this place and helps keep it running very smoothly, and uh, it's wonderful. Uh, historically, I always think of bakers as having to, to trudge out into the, the early, early morning and to begin their day baking so that it's ready for their customers. Uh, are your days, can they be considerably longer than you know, most people that go to work? Oh yes, yeah. so on Saturday I get up at 20 after 1, uh, so Friday night I eat supper and go to bed. And I get up at 20 after 1 and I'm here in the bakery by 2, and then I am run until about 8 a.m. when I can finally sit down, and then I go home, have a nap eat lunch and then come back and clean up and close. So it's a long day, but it's great, so. Well, my expertise starts at eating croissant. I'm gonna leave it to Tavis Weaver here, the owner and the head baker, to show us how to make croissant, one of my favorite French pastries. Go ahead, show me how to do it. All right, so what I've already done here uh, earlier today was put the butter in the croissants. Um, so I whipped the butter 
rolled out the dough, put it in, folded it, did that three times. So you get 50 some layers of butter. So I guess like a puff pastry in that there's many, many folds to try to create that kind of uh, lift and rise. It's like, a, it's like a puff pastry, only there's a fraction of the folds, of the layers. Puff pastry has over a thousand. This has 50. Wow, uh, to me, measuring tape, that makes it pretty precise. Do we have a fairly educated croissant market here in uh, Kitchener? Is it getting better? A lot of people don't realize that a lot of people, a lot of bakeries don't make their croissants. And so they're always surprised that they're made here or that the other places don't make them. Um, we're one of two in the region. So we've seen the, the start of the process and now we've got the, the finished product here, just lovely. How long have they been in the oven? Uh, it takes about 12, 12, 14 minutes for them to get nice and golden. And, and how do you recommend eating them? What's the best way? Fresh and with a good bite, some coffee. That's all you need Saturday morning with the newspaper, croissant, fresh cup of coffee, Golden Hearth Baking Company. <laughs>